Okay, I'm gonna try this video thing again. Um, this I'm gonna use the one inch wide so that you can see uh, the whole thing on the video. So I'm gonna line them up. And because we cut the stretchy side, We can pull this way out. I like to twist it a little bit just because it's gonna look nice on the knot. And I make a knot. It's tight as you can possibly make it. Now when I was showing uh, Lori Oxenford how to do this, it seemed easier when I had it laying on a table in the four directions. So you have your knot, and here are your four. Doesn't matter if they get twisted. You don't have to have them perfectly lined up, but you've got them in a plus sign. So here's the black one. We're going to take this and we're just gonna fold it over top of this one on the right. Then you're going to take this green one and you're going to fold it over top of these two. Okay. Now you've already gone over top of this one, so you're not gonna go over, use this one again. Now you're going to go over top of these two like that. You remember, you have to keep this loop right here. Then with the yellow one, I'm gonna put it through the hole. And what that does is it closes your knot. So as you can see, you have a nice, see it comes out over, under, over, under, in this kind of pattern. And then I, you start to pull it tight. I like to use the opposite corners to pull because it keeps the knots straight. So it's gonna look like this. And just pull it as tight as you can possibly make it. I actually used a little hair clip on the main one I start with every single time so that I can keep track. See, it's just a little... It's just a little clip. Now I know I'm starting with the black every time, so. You're not gonna have to do this once you learn. You can start with any of them. You just have to get the directions going right, which direction you're going. So now, again, over top of this one, over top of two, over top of two, and then through the hole. Pull it as tight as you can possibly pull it. Now we're gonna do this again. As you can see, you've got the, trying to get the whole thing in the, on the video. You got your plus sign again, and you take your one over top, over two, over two, over one. tight as you can possibly pull it. If you make a mistake, I have needle nose pliers on hand just in case I have to pull it apart. Now, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, 
over top once, over top two, over top two, through one. Plus sign again, over top one, over top two, over top two, and through the hole. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of a pattern here. Then, here's how I do them. I hold a knot like this, shooting a gun. Put out my north, south, east, and west, as you can see. Here's my black one. I know it's hard to see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over my thumb to make the loop over one, over two, over two, and through the hole. Over one, over two, over two. Whoops, I screwed that up, I went too fast. Over one, over two, over two, and this one. Whoops. Where is it? Oh, there. Oh, there it is. Through the hole. As you can see, you're getting that nice twist. I'm going to keep on going. Your fingers kind of naturally 
do the right thing once you get moving on this. What I do is I look at some of the, I hold it up to the older ones to see how long they are. Because I'd like to get them about the same size. I think maybe if I hold it this way, you could see. So I'll hold them up to see if they're about the same size. I think I can do one more knot. Okay, so now we have it. So now I'll pull it just to make it look straight. So now we have this. Now what I'm gonna do, this is the hardest part for me, is making the knot. So I try to do this and pull to make it as skinny as possible. And you see this is where you ended, right here. So I'm gonna make the knot, but I'm gonna go a little bit over the braid here. Now you may not have enough material for every strip, so be careful that you get all four of them through. Now you can see I've got my braid part in the knot and the flat part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull and I'm gonna start rolling. And I, as I roll, I pull it a little bit tighter each time because I wanna get above the braided part where the knot sits. And there's gonna be like a little pop and you know, okay, you're at the very end. And then I'll grab two and then I'll do the opposite two to tighten it and of course I don't have my scissors here so give me one second so now I'm going to try and cut these here about the same size as the other end
So there we go. You can tell the difference between these two. The one, this one's a little fatter. This one's a little skinnier. I'm getting better at it and pulling it tight as I go. These were like one of the first ones I've made. So it just takes a little practice. And there you go. One done.